Good morning. <laughs> Let me tell you, when you have over 4,000 friends on Facebook and nearly 4,000 subscribers on YouTube, and it's your birthday, be prepared. <laughs> there is absolutely no way that I can even do likes on each one of the <laughs> of the greetings I received on Facebook, especially. Uh, I didn't even check YouTube this morning. Went to bed at around nine o'clock last night, and of course I've been awake for a while, which is why I'm starting at three thirty-three today. I'm not going to wait for another hour and eleven minutes <laughs> to do the four-four-four thing because I've already been awake for over an hour and a half. Anyway, thank each of you, I thank each of you that took the time to send me a birthday greeting. Some of you sent cards uh, via email or via electronic cards, and I appreciate those as well. And uh, this, this card especially came from Holland, from Marg, uh, or Marge, however she says the name. Without the E on the end, I would say Marg. I think that's how she has it. Yeah, M-A-R-G. But anyway, I thought this was really interesting, where it has a well at the top on the surface of the land, but it opens up to the inner earth, and you've got a river flowing underneath and a bucket going down out of the well to go into the river to draw, draw water up from the well. I thought that was a... A really fascinating photograph, and I'm holding it up for you so that you can get a look at it. <laughs> uh, that, not that the other cards didn't impress me, but that picture just caught my attention immediately. And uh, thank you, Mark, for uh, sending that. And yes, we're probably soulmates. I have soulmates all over the world who would have believed, <laughs> and probably beyond this world as well. And that's okay too. Today's title that I've selected that was impressed upon me even before I got out of bed was Gathering of Souls for Reconciliation. Yes, I can still see with my natural eyes, and God has also blessed me to see with my supernatural eye, the third eye. <laughs> That's the single eye, by the way, and I'm, I'm ad-libbing here. I ad-lib all the time anyway. <laughs> Whereas those that only see with the natural eyes see conflict and division as the light comes on with greater intensity. Some are able to see as God sees, looking beneath the surface and recognizing the common ground within and beneath the diversity. There is a gathering of those souls that are willing to look deeper. And it is those souls that follow in the footsteps of the messengers that have gone before us. There are more of us on this planet now than ever before. And our mission is the mission of Christ consciousness, the ministry of reconciliation. We hear the cry of Master Jesus. Father, that they all may be one in us. This is the time of the gathering of souls. I don't know how, but I'm, I'm, I'm diverting again back to the computer. I don't know how chat messages are all of a sudden popping up in the last few days. I don't like chats. I want to make that clear. I don't like chat rooms, and I don't like chats on the computer. <laughs> and, and my Skype thing, my Skype account is usually do not disturb, and when I'm ready to receive a phone call from somebody, it's set up in advance. Yesterday, I was on the tiny chat room for the Galactic Free Press that my friend Glenn, who's been insisting that I join that for months, I finally did join it, and we did a we ended up doing a video 
a, a Skype video chat with a, a bunch of people from around the world. Well, I, I don't know how many of us were there. Eight of us maybe on the on the chat. That's not something I normally do, but it triggered. I got to, to see some of the people that I've not seen before uh, on actual video, including Lucas from Holland, and uh, there was a. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to. I'm gonna, I'm not going to name the people because because if then if I leave somebody out, then they'll feel slighted, and some of the people I was seeing for the first time. In any case. There is a gathering of souls. That was just a small gathering of light workers yesterday on Skype and prior to that on the, on the Galactic Free Press uh, tiny chat that my friend Glenn uh, runs. Um, that, I don't even remember what the name of the chat room is right off the top of my head right now. But we gathered together there yesterday because this is an intense period that they scheduled right on my birthday, right around my birthday yesterday and today. And we talked about, we talked about a lot of things, uh, but we talked about the importance of what's happening in the world today. And, and even if it looks like non-unity, there is a greater unity than ever before. As Jesus prayed in the garden, the true high priestly prayer of Jesus, recorded in John 17, the Gospel of John, chapter 17, that they, that as I am one in you and you are one in me, that they all may be one in us. <laughs> That's the prayer of the Master. That's the will of God. That's the will of God, that they all may be one in us gathering of souls. That's what's happening today as many groups around the world are focusing their energies on seeing the world come into the fifth dimension, seeing planet Earth ascend to a higher frequency so that the lower frequencies can no longer reign supreme and, and wreak havoc upon the planet, to the planet, and to the people on the planet, and to the creatures on the planet, where we can learn finally to live in harmony and finally manifest peace on earth, which has been elusive for millennia. Millennia. Thousands of years, that is. Multitude of generations. Many of us have been here lifetime after lifetime, and we've come again and again to learn lessons and to experience life in all of its many facets of being human. We've done that. We've played dark roles and we've played light roles. Every one of us. I mean, for those of you that cannot see the eternality of the soul, you're missing something. If you think you were only born when you were born this time around, and when you die, that's the end of it, <laughs> God, give me a break. We are part of the eternal, part of forever, <laughs> without beginning and without end. Each one of us are that. The soul goes on and on and on and experiences lifetime after lifetime. So if you're deprived of being able to see that, with the single eye and sense that in your being, you're living with a half a deck. You're playing cards with a half a deck. Get with the program. See the bigger picture, please. Because you are loved and you've always been loved. And this time around, whether you're playing a dark role or a light role, whether you're lost or whether you think you're found, and none of us are completely lost and none of us are completely found, in my opinion. And it's my opinion. But we all are connected and woven into the fabric of life. All of us. And we're all loved by the ultimate creator that is transcendent to everything that's 
appears as visible reality and is imminent, that is, it is within. That divine nature is within everything. And it doesn't matter how it manifests. Even the prodigal son and daughter in the pig pen, or even before they get to the pig pen, they are still loved by the great creator, by great spirit, by what we call God, the supreme being, the first cause, source, whatever you want to call it, all that is, all and in all, whatever you want to put the description on, we are one. And the prayer of Jesus is the prayer of Muhammad, is the prayer of the Buddha, is the prayer of all of the saints and seers and that have come down through the ages as messengers from heaven to bring us a message. Contained within that message is always to love one another. It's always to see the bigger picture. It's always to recognize the divine in each other. It's always to love and to accept love and to be love. And that's how the lights are coming on. It's all about matters of the heart. I came this time around 66 years ago at 10.19 p.m. tonight. It will be the beginning of my 67th year in this body. Well, actually, it isn't this body because this body changes every seven years. It's got all new cells. And some of them keep remembering what the other cells were. Wish it wouldn't do that. <laughs> I like to get rid of the wrinkles on my face and, and be forever young, forever rejuvenated. As my mind is renewed and as my soul is restored, I'd like my body to be rejuvenated and live in, in youth, eternal youth, till, till I'm ready to take on a different body if I ever choose that. But we don't have to die. And we're being enabled to see greater possibilities, greater potentials. We haven't even scratched the surface of what it means to be human. Oh, not even scratched the surface. The potential that's within our body alone, every cell of our body has enough power within it to light the largest city on the planet for a period of time. I don't know what that is. I've heard <laughs> tremendous numbers. We're all powerful. We're all powerful. Life is energy. Life is spirit. We are all spiritual. We are all energetic beings. We are all more than what we think we are. Don't buy into the crap that you're less than, or that you're not good enough, or that you'll only be loved if you do this or that, or believe this or believe that. That's all a lie. And I'm not going to enter into arguments with those of you that believe that your narrow way is the only way. Everybody can go into that way of thinking that they're the only ones that are right. That's the broad way that leads to destruction. But it isn't destruction because God is gracious and merciful to all generations, all generations. And God always loves you unconditionally, no matter what you're doing, where you are, what circumstances you've created in your life, and you've created them even if you think you haven't. There are no victims, ultimately, not from the highest realm of perception. There are no victims. They're just roles that we play to learn lessons and to teach lessons to each other and to remind each other of what reality is. And reality is love, folks. Reality is. Reality is interconnectedness and unity of all things, even though we can create the experience of disunity and disharmony, even though we can create the experience of discord and 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 constant conflict. We can create that. We have created it. We have experienced it. Are you tired of it yet? Are you tired of it yet? The ministry of Jesus is the ministry of reconciliation. He's in the world reconciling the world unto himself. 
God is reconciling the world unto God's self. Mother Earth is dancing with the Father. The material realm, matter, the feminine, is dancing with the masculine, spirit, spiritus. They're dancing together. Are you going to join the dance or are you going to continue the warfare? The choice is yours. The choice is yours and mine. We have the ability to see with this eye too, if we will. And when we see with this eye, it's one. It's not many. It's many that are part of the one. It's unity in diversity. That's the way it is. That's the reality. This is the time of the gathering of souls. Two more months till the time when the, 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 the center galactic alignment takes place. But we're in that period already and the energies are, are being intensified and the awakening is accelerating. I don't know how it's going to spin out, but it's going to be wonderful. Some of you, all you can see is how bad it is and how bad it's going to be. Open your freaking eyes and wake up. See the bigger picture from God's perspective. See with the single eye. Yeah, it's not turn off the natural eye, the, the natural eyes. It's not turn them off, but turn on the supernatural eye so that you can see and so that you can love and so that you can recognize. Namaste. God in everyone. 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 And let high priestly prayer of Jesus be answered in your life so that you might be one with everybody and stop fighting the devil and people that you think are evil. Stop fighting them. Learn to love. That's my birthday message to you, to all of you. Namaste. Thank you for being my friend. Namaste.